It was Halloween night 1979, and the WHA refugee Hartford Whalers enjoyed tricks and treats at Maple Leaf Gardens at the expense of both the Leafs and team owner Harold Ballard. Making this game particularly noteworthy was the NHL return to Toronto of two of hockey's legends and a game featured on Hockey Night in Canada. For 51-year-old Gordie Howe, it was an early stop in his year-long farewell tour around the NHL. And for 39-year-old Dave Keon, it was a return to face a team that he had left under bitter circumstances. You see, in 1975, after a 15-year career in four Stanley Cups in Toronto, Keon was deemed by the Leafs to be washed up. Ballard, the tyrannical owner of the Leafs, publicly criticized Keon's leadership in the 74-75 season, and when Keon's contract came up for renewal at year's end, Ballard made it clear that he was done as a Leaf. Ballard, who also controlled Keon's NHL rights, told him to try to sign with another NHL team, but then set Keon's compensation price so high that no team would sign him. Keon then jumped to the World Hockey Association to escape Ballard's wrath. In the WHA, Keon proved he was still an elite player, as NHL opponents would soon learn upon his return to the league in 1979. Keon remained angry with Ballard and the Leafs, and his NHL return to Maple Leaf Gardens was highly anticipated. The Leafs got on the board first on a power play goal by Walt McKechnie after a nice setup from Boya Salming. Salming goes over the Hartford line. Salming centered it right from McKechnie. Oh, he got it right between the legs. McKechnie gets his first goal of the season. Whalers rookie Ray Allison evened the score at 1-1 after a great setup by Andre Lacroix. Nice with Douglas, and the puck ends up right in front of the net. Went by Douglas, then Sims a drive. Another try, they bang at it, and Lacroix missed the open net. Here's right in front again. It's Ron Plum as Palmateer couldn't get back in time. Well, Ray Allison was there along with Lacroix. Lacroix. At 8.43 of the second period, the Whalers took a 2-1 lead as Dave Keon scored a goal that Maple Leafs fans would not soon forget. Quick pass going in on the right side. Palmateer way out of the net. And that one hit the side of the goal. Here's another try. Keon scores! Dave Keon. Lane Scott's Ricky Lee there as well, but Keon, as you might expect, was right in position to tip it in after Palmateer came well out of the net to try to thwart that attempt by Scott. Scott hit the side of the net. There's Keon. Where would you expect him to be? Right off the goal crease, he tips it in. The crowd responds with a thunderous display of affection for Davey Keon, the former Leaf captain, who has put Hartford in front two to one. His teammates congratulate him. There he is to tip it in as Turnbull gets there too late. Lane Stout gets the assist. And Bennett gets the other assist. It was reported that after Keon's goal, Harold Ballard in a wild rage stormed out of the Maple Leaf Gardens. In the third period, the Whalers expanded their lead to 3-1 as another ex-Leaf, Blaine Stoughton, combined with Dave Keon for a Whaler goal. Blaine Stoughton and Dave Keon. Stoughton going in alone, took a shot. Another shot. Oh, oh good play. play. Good play by Stoughton and Keon. Stoughton wisely gave the puck to Keon. That may be the key to this goal. Coming up center ice. This followed a, a collision into the boards with Salming. Stoughton to Keon, back to Stoughton. He goes in alone. Palmatier makes a good stop on the initial drive, but Stoughton gets the rebound, puts it high into the net. 3-1, Hartford in front. Who to believe this story at the Gardens tonight? As the Leafs come off a, a road trip in which they collected only one point and continue to flounder on home ice. 3 6 the time. Less than six minutes later, Leaf fans were on their feet again to salute Gordy Howe who gave the Whalers a 4-1 lead. It was checked, Hans Leben has it again. Coming to center, a pass over the line to Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe shoots one. He did it! First Dave Keon, and now number nine, Gordy Howe. Drills one to the upper corner, and he gets us 
standing ovation. Listen to this, Gregordy, number nine. You know, he hasn't had a good night, but there it is, the goal coming so unexpected here in the third period. Suddenly it's in behind Palmatier, and the crowd responds with an ovation for number nine, Gordy Howard, 957. The Whalers would go on to win the game 4-2, and there was little doubt who the number one star would be. defeated the Toronto Maple Leafs by a very convincing 4-2 score. Ladies and gentlemen, here are tonight's Molson Cup three stars. The first star, Davey Keon. Thanks for watching this episode of PHA TV. Please hit the subscribe button and never miss a classic hockey video.